Muslim Ummah already thinks uh, Pakistan as their leader. Uh, it has only been about time when that will actually happen. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وأصحابه وبارك وسلم عليك. My name is Awais Nasir uh, from IWO Institute. Uh, IWO Institute or Islamic World Order Institute is a think tank uh, promoting the idea derived from Quran and Hadith that. Uh, Muslim Ummah would rise again in the whole world and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would give Muslim Ummah the lost glory. Not only that, but Muslim Ummah would be given such a glory that no one, no empire, no king, uh, no era in the world has ever seen. And Muslim Ummah uh, would spread all over the world, inshallah. So, uh, and and we believe the time for that has come and we also believe that that would happen starting from the East and the most prominent country uh, of the East uh, militarily uh, geopolitically uh, politically uh, uh, in all aspects that most prominent and important country is Pakistan uh, so we are promoting the idea that Pakistan would lead the world first of all lead the Muslim Ummah and then Pakistan would lead uh, the whole world inshallah. We are very lucky that our campaign uh, to raise awareness all over the world and especially in Muslims about the future leadership role of Pakistan is gaining real momentum and the people from all over the Muslim Ummah and beyond are coming over to Pakistan to join us and to support us uh, in this campaign and we have been receiving messages from all over the world that the Muslim Ummah already thinks uh, Pakistan as their leader. Uh, it has only been about time when that will actually happen and probably that has started to happen already. Uh, we have now with us uh, Mr. Rinalwan Buchari uh, from Indonesia who came over all the way from Indonesia to Pakistan uh, to show his support for Pakistan and our campaign uh, the campaign of IWO Institute uh, that's the think tank uh, that Pakistan would be a future leader so Mr. Rinalwan Buchari is the rector and the CEO of PASIM, uh, an organization to support, uh, promote science and technology in Indonesia. And PASIM runs uh, uh, a university uh, that is called PASIM National University of Indonesia. And he is the rector of uh, PASIM National University. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we are very lucky that our message is being heard and accepted in such circles uh, all over the Muslim Ummah. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, Mr. Nalwan yeah. Bachari. First of all, uh, I would like to um, welcome you in Pakistan and I hope you like the hospitality of Pakistan. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate that you have come over all the way from Indonesia uh, to support our campaign of Pakistan as the future leader. So can you tell me uh, a little bit about your purpose of visit to Pakistan and why are you here in your own words? I am, uh, I will, I will come to Pakistan. Firstly, of course, uh, I, I have to, I have a close friend in Karachi and I have some friends in uh, Lahore and of course what uh, he said that I support for his uh, campaign and also I have uh, doing uh, a little business in uh, from uh, in Pakistan uh, exporting coconut and I hope uh, I will get uh, better in Pakistan. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. So, uh, can you uh, introduce yourself? What do you do uh, over there in, in Indonesia? What's your uh, introduction in terms of, uh, in, in perspective of uh, Indonesia? I'm a former rector in National University in Bandung. And 
uh, I have also a CEO of university and I have uh, already uh, and I have a uh, focus in also I'm happy to study it in uh, about the Islamic uh, future my 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 university start is uh, uh, 2007 2007 and has uh, around uh, 11 years before and my university conduct about the there are some faculty in my university they are uh, economics uh, informat inform uh, informatic computer science and uh, psychology and industrial and industrial uh, technique in uh, my even university oh, no, this is a private university right. is uh, my own uh, university mashallah mashallah so sir in alwan uh, how the people of indonesia uh, look towards pakistan uh, like um, you have been telling us that uh, Pakistan is very important for the Muslim Ummah and you believe the idea. So can you tell us more about that and how people of Indonesia um, look at Pakistan? Is Pakistan important for you or how is the importance of Pakistan's atomic power and Pakistan's military strength from uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Do you think uh, it's a hope for Muslim Ummah or not? I think uh, Indonesian people cannot forget the Pakistan because you know the first uh, Indonesian president Sukarno has a good relation with the uh, the, f the, pre the first president of Pakistan is uh, Muhammad Zina. Yes. yes, and some of Indonesian also knows about the. Uh, Pakistan, uh, I think, has uh, potential resources. Like uh, yes. Abdul Qadir is uh, one of the scientists, the, the best scientists in the world. Yes. And energy resources, you have the uranium and etc. I think. And uh, the geopolitical of Pakistan in the central of. Asia, is, yeah, yeah, it could be the the best for uh, other country. I think. Mm, right. Mm. If we compare for other country, okay, okay, right. Uh, the Pakistan has uh, like uh, resource, uh, human resources, like uh, Abdul Qadir. Uh, he is very famous and the best uh, scientist, I think, for the atomic bomb. Pakistan also has. Uh, uh, strong army and Pakistan also, also has a uh, uh, energy resource like uh, gasoline uranium and etc I think and also has uh, the best I mean the the good the for the geopolitical in Pakistan is I think is better than others I think with this uh, potential resource uh, get the from the uh, from the pakistan so i hope the pakistan must be uh, manage all this uh, resource especially for the government i think the government must be uh, work hard and no corruption <laughs> yeah. right so i think uh, pakistan will be the leader next if uh, uh, manage with the uh, good governments and of course based on the Islam Sharia. So you have said that Pakistan can be uh, the future leader of Muslim Ummah but right now when we look at the Muslim Ummah we see Indonesia and Malaysia uh, more progressed uh, more economically better than Pakistan uh, so why do you think Indonesia and Malaysia why don't you like promote Indonesia or Malaysia as the leader of uh, Muslim Ummah? Instead, you have come all of the way to Pakistan and you think Pakistan can be the leader. Is there a specific reason for that? Yes, of course, because what I said, the, the Pakistan has a, a big potential than other countries. But the problem, how to manage the, all the potential in Pakistan. So the government must be work 
very hard and must be work very clean i mean so no corruption because the the problem for all uh, uh, islamic country is the corruption but i think pakistan is more than so i hope the pakistan yeah the government and the, must be work uh, very hard no corruption and think about the uh, umma right. with the big hope and help the umma make a, a good system yeah so i i think uh, pakistan will be uh, better and better and to be a, a leader in the world i think this is one of the uh, one of why i said that pakistan to be uh, the uh, a leader of a muslim country i think in uh, some uh, in uh, some muslim country use only the nationalism not use the la ilaha illallah in the goal goal of the uh, the way of life for the uh, country that's the the pakistan has uh, one of the i think one one of the the key of success uh, one more question uh, sir rinalwan uh, which is director and ceo of pasim national university of indonesia uh, since you are uh, associated with the education sector um, you must know that many people from Pakistan and other parts of the uh, world go to Malaysia for um, higher education. Uh, I know many people who have gone to Malaysia for um, higher education uh, for their PhDs and other uh, degrees. Uh, so the education system over there is much better than Pakistan. Um, uh, what specific thing you suggest for Pakistan uh, to improve in its academics, in its education system, so that Pakistan also becomes a thriving country in education, um, so that people from all over the world, even from Europe and US, can come to the Muslim countries for their higher education, for their degrees, for their PhDs. I think we, we can read in Hadith, in Rasulullah, said that uh, we have to find science uh, up to China and in Indonesia and Malaysia I think 30 or 40 years ago they opened mind to uh, send the people to send the student to study in uh, United States or in European France and everything and after that there are many uh, there are many changes in our uh, education system so for the old if uh, for the old uh, system so combined with the modern system and we can see the uh, the result of uh, people who sent to uh, united states and then grow up grow up for the, our education uh, so you think uh, pakistan should uh, learn more from uh, other countries other countries and, and adopt Adopt their system. Adopt their system. Okay, and, and make it the best. It. Yeah, yes. combine it and make it the. All right. The, yeah. Yeah. May, combine it with uh, their Islamic values, yes. with the religious values, and learn the modern systems and adopt them okay. and involve them uh, yes. within their own education system uh, to improve it. L let's come to the last question. Uh, you are an academician, you have a lot of experience, you have taught a lot of students, you have um, many, many uh, university graduates have graduated from your university. So a lot of experience about the Muslim Ummah, about the people, about uh, the situation of, um, uh, of the youth. So uh, what, what do you think and why do you think is Muslim Ummah in such a bad condition right now? And what could be the solution uh, to that and how Muslim Umma can gain its lost glory and become world leader? You know, in, there are many uh, country Muslim in the world, but it's a it's, uh, uh, country, uh, country not have the unity in uh, our... But we, have, we believe Allah and Muhammad, but we display uh, in uh, uh, in different countries like me I, I have to go to Pakistan I need a visa mm. uh, to go to Arab Saudi I need to visa so 
but we are Muslim we are brothers mm -hmm. uh, so the important things we have we have to feel that our real brothers mm -hmm. and we have to to support each other mm -hmm. that's that's why I think uh, uh, the, the the weak point of why the Muslim cannot uh, to be uh, agreed in the world if uh, we have a spirit in heart and to be uh, close for every Muslim like for for example if we buy a product only Muslim product for mm -hmm. uh, other country uh, for gasoline for everything I right. think so uh, the Islamic uh, community I think will be uh, nobody can I mean we will be to be uh, a great uh, Muslim oh, okay. good. Yeah. yes I agree